welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. On today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of every single thing that I do. You guys know, if you guys have been watching the channel, it's a lot. And the reason I'm doing this today in this video is because this is my last quarter of school. And I just wanted to show you guys like what I've been doing daily pretty much for the past it's been like six years you know I've been doing this you know now for six years and it's a lot and you know some things have changed in between there but I just want to show you guys what I do again just to show exemplify kind of like how much I've been handling but also how it's possible to handle this much because I want you guys to be able to see like dang you know I've always wanted to do this but I'm in school or I'm doing this so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today this morning we're starting out with some breakfast. It's the same breakfast from my full day of eating. The sourdough and the three eggs is like a staple. I love this breakfast. It's it's the bomb. It's also my pre-workout meal. I don't think I'll honestly be changing it anytime soon, even when the marathon prep comes up. This is just such a good meal. I don't know what it is. It's something about the sourdough combined with the eggs, because I take a bite of the eggs and I take a bite of the sourdough. And it's just something, man. But we also had a banana and a protein shake, but I finished those before. I was about to eat these because when I wake up in the morning, I feel like I could eat a whole family of fives dinner. What? So, yeah, that's why I did that. It's just because I'm hungry. Not wait to have my black magic back, dude. In other words, coffee. I don't know how many of you guys are new here watching today, but I gave up coffee. <coughs> Holy moly, what am I coughing on? Gave up coffee for Lent, and it's been rough, dude. I've been, I've literally been counting down the days. I can't believe I miss it that bad. It's not the withdrawals, it's just, dude, if you ever had a nice warm cup of coffee, it's something different. And the people that like coffee only know what I'm talking about. And if you don't like coffee, you know, you can get into it if you want. I'm not saying it's the best thing to get into because you can get addicted to the caffeine and then that's no fun. But I mean, it's like, it's sort of fun, but you get what I'm saying. I have less than a week now and I'm, I'm beyond stoked. Like I've been missing it. Not the caffeine part, just having a nice warm cup of coffee, coffee, coffee before I go to the gym. If you guys are wondering what I just put in my shaker, it's not pre-workout, well it is pre-workout, but it's a stim-free pre-workout, so there's no caffeine in it. And it's literally just been helping me to have something to sip on on the way to the gym. It's definitely not the same as coffee, clearly, because I'm missing it. Originally it just started out as giving up coffee for Lent, but then it turned into giving up caffeine just because the first few days after you get off caffeine, it's kind of rough, the withdrawals are a little tough, obviously they're not gonna kill you or anything. But I knew I would have went and you know gotten an energy drink or just something that had caffeine in it to get rid of it. So I was like, okay, we're gonna get rid of coffee and caffeine for this season of Lent. So we're pretty much almost there at the finish line. But yeah, run right ahead out now and go to the gym. No matter how much stronger I get, hundreds are always still pretty damn heavy to pick up believe it or not this week those have been keeping up with the other videos but this is the last week that we have our regular training regimen we're going into our marathon prep next week it's only going to look different because i'm going to just over the amount of times that i'm in here in the gym i'm only going to do three times with one mobility day so i'll be in here four times but the fourth day is not going to be a serious training session the reason for that is because the last time for my marathon training that i had i was in the gym six days a week and it was just so much on my body, you know, with running over 60 miles a week, and it was just really tough. So that's one thing that I learned from the last time because I was burnt out. I don't even know, like, looking back, I'm shocked that I was able to even do that. It's like kind of goofy to look back on. Make it worth this week, but we got some chest today, and I gotta lift these because now they're making my calves cramp from holding them there for too long. What? <sighs>
So normally after my workout, I'd go directly to school after this, but today I forgot my towel, forgot my meal prep. This happens every single time a new quarter starts because I get into the habit of doing something and then during that break time, I don't have to be at school for that certain time or pack my lunch for that time. So then fall out of the habit for a few days. And then when you try to get back on track with it, you're so used to what you've already been doing that you forget it. Mind you, I wasn't that good at it, good at it before then to begin with, but I was still better than I probably am now. So normally I'd go to school, get there by 9.30, start my work that I have for school, also do my social media posts, and then I would do my work for school until I have class. This quarter, I have class at 11 to 12, and then 1.30 to 3.30 on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have 10 to like 12 or something like that. And then Fridays I have free. So, well, I shouldn't say free, like that that's a day to get caught up on all the homework, studying everything that I have for the previous week or the week coming up. So that's what I normally do, but now we have to go home, shower, get my lunch, and then probably buy all my books and stuff. There's not a lot of school work to do right now because it's literally the first day of the quarter. And we also have to go get some school supplies too. I have to get notebooks and crap like that. They tax you out here for school, I swear, man. I'm trying to rob your wallet. Every school quarter, the times change for what I have going on. So for this quarter, we have Monday school for basically the entire morning all the way up until 3.30, or I should say after my workout until 3.30. And then on Tuesdays, I don't have anything up until the mid-afternoon round was like 1.30 all the way to 3.30. So not my favorite schedule, but it was, only the, it was the only thing available in order for me to graduate this year. Also, I know some of you guys are college students and from time to time I'll get questions on like oh like I need I, I, I you know I procrastinate I do this and I do that and one thing that I do because I don't really procrastinate that much I like to get my stuff done and my thought process is behind it is I'd rather get the thing done now so I don't have to stress about it later because the stress about something later is way worse than doing it now also for those who may be wondering my major is business management I kind of wish I would have done marketing just because like that's my strong suit but might as well get strong in something that I'm not strong at yet. I've thought about doing my master's for business, but I kind of just want to get into the workforce and start making some money now. I just kind of done with school. I've been in it for six years now and it's just kind of wearing on me. But I got my capstone class now, which is like the final business class that like everyone takes for a major in business. So that's where we're headed to right now. And just like that, we're done. It is currently 3.30. So normally what I would do just because it's been a while since I've had a class that went till 3.30. Normally what I would do is I would have my meal right now. It would usually be like my snack, if you guys seen the full day of eating, protein bar and an apple. And I would get home and we would get ready for the run. But today, since I wasn't planned, I didn't plan accordingly, I gotta go home and I gotta eat a meal and then we gotta wait a little bit to go on the run. But that's typically what I did. Again, it was just me not successfully planning today. We still gotta record the video, this stuff happens, but normally, yeah, I'd have my snack of me. Today went pretty well, I would say. I. I took a couple courses I actually kind of like, and it's strategic something, and then entrepreneurship. The entrepreneurship one's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be the most exciting one. The reason I like it is because there's no actual way to do entrepreneurship, it's constantly creating, coming up with a new idea. I, I don't know, I'm a creative, so I really enjoy developing and bringing ideas to life, and that's what that class really is at its core, and so I'm excited for that because I haven't taken one college class, I don't think, ever that I've been super into. I mean, last quarter I did have a leadership one and that was fun too, to some degree, but this one is hopefully going to be the best one I've ever taken. I used to be a kinesiology major for those wondering. Um, I mean, that's primarily why I do fitness on here. I was really into fitness, thought I would really like kinesiology stuff and I still do. It just, it was getting to the point where I, I realized that I didn't really find any interest in the kinesiology sector. I enjoyed working out and exercise science, but the things that we were learning just weren't interesting, I guess. I, I guess I wasn't interested in the scientific model. I just liked working out in general uh, rather than the actual science behind it, if that makes sense.
right now we're just warming up for my run. I put it in the last, no, not the last video, but a couple videos back, there was a link in the description for my warm up before my run because I was kind of blabbering about what I do for my pre-run just so that I prevent injury and stuff. I'm gonna put it down below in this video as well because it's super useful for me. There's so many benefits to warming up. Uh, I'm not gonna go into it because I feel like a broken record every time I talk about it. Today we have a five mile easy run. I have this every single time on a Monday. It'll switch when we you know, prepare for the marathon and write up the whole schedule for that this week. But nonetheless, that's what we have for today, Monday, the day of the day. We are kind of falling behind too, simply just because like I didn't have that meal and I didn't get to eat until about like 3.50, 3.55 ish. So I had to wait about an hour and a half two hours for that to digest and now we're gonna get going for our run. So I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get going. All right, it's like the one time I feel like I'm recording on this road and there's no traffic every single damn time. I am on this road running. It is national drive on this road because Levi's running day, I swear. A common question I get asked, especially on like Instagram, is what kind of running shoes should I get? My answer to that is go get fitted. Like that is one thing that I've learned and my journey is just go get fitted for a shoe. The best shoe that I've used personally so far is the Endorphin 2s. Those things are pretty nice, but again, they're not like specific for me. There's probably a shoe out there that's way better for me because it took a while for me to really enjoy them to some degree. I don't know if that makes sense. Like it took a lot of wear down time for me to enjoy them and so much to the point where I had completed my marathon before I actually started enjoying them. So definitely go get fitted. On the home stretch, we're gonna finish this up despite hitting five miles. I know part of me wants to end it here just cause five flat, but I'm finishing this one off today. Five point four one nine twenty four. Super easy run today. I've said this multiple times. So you guys are doing a zone two run. You guys need to be like this fatigued afterward. Like I can still talk without being like, <laughs> what the hell is even that? You know, whatever that was. You get what I'm saying without breathing out hard and all that stuff. So yeah, that was a good run. We're running behind, so I'm gonna hurry this up. I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna make some dinner, and then we're gonna sit down and work on some kill built stuff. So let's get it. Bean, that's pathetic. Get out from under there. Come here. Gosh, look at you. Oh my gosh, look at that face. See, how, how could you guys ever deny a face like that? You want up on the bed? Yeah, I know you do. Currently at the moment, I am checking on the order status of a t-shirt that I have coming out for Kill Bill probably in the fall of 2024. Just depends on finances and stuff. I just need more orders for Kill Bill in order to purchase this order or I need to make more money in my personal life to get it. But regardless, I'm checking on the order status of the sample that I got for it before I buy it in bulk and it still hasn't gotten here and I purchased it back on February 28th, which is that... Uh, what day is that? Is that like a, is it leap day or whatever? I don't know what it's called. It's like when you get an extra day in February that we had this year. Anyway, ordered it a while ago and they still haven't even shipped it. And I just texted them the other day. I was like, hey, you're gonna ship? 
they said two to three days, then we'll ship it. That was five days ago. And so I texted them now, I was like, do you ship it yet? Cause it says you have it. And yeah, but that's just part of doing business, you know, is what it is. This stuff actually irritates me more than I'm showing on camera. I don't want to get too angry about it, but it's really nothing to get too angry about considering I can't even order it yet because I just don't have the finances. So the fact that's taking longer, perfectly fine for me. This is just one of the businesses that I own. If you guys are interested in supporting it all, I have the Google shop available. So like literally just scroll down below like right next to the description in the video and it has all the products that we have out for Kill Bill and Code Levi or Kill Bill 10 will save you 10% off on your purchase. So yeah, that's just what I got going on for that business. I also am part of a second business, which is in media operations. So I've gotten a couple comments on this channel where people have been like, dang, the content or the quality of the content for how small this YouTube channel is pretty nuts. And the thing is that I've been in photo and video for so long now that I kind of just know how and plus I did a YouTube channel before this for four years so I have some you know expertise in that area I joined this business with a buddy probably like four or five months ago it just helps to pay some bills and whatnot yeah so I don't have any work for that specifically today I handle a lot of that throughout Tuesday and Thursday I schedule it for that but kill builds every single day I don't have too much for it right now I would like to have more day-to-day -day operations for it but just with the way my schedule is right now I just do not have every single ounce of time to dedicate that to that at this moment. When school's over with, I'll be able to focus more on day-to-day -day operations for Kill Bill, but for the moment right now, just kind of doing what I'm trying to do or can do, I should say. I don't have too much to do. I, I do need to go meal prep because yesterday we had family over. It is my birthday in like a couple days. So we had cake last night and it was pretty late and I'm trying to like be strict on my bedtime now. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna meal prep, I'll meal prep tomorrow and because I don't have much for Kill Bill. So I'm gonna go do that now and then we'll wrap it up tonight with some reading and prayer. Bean does this weird thing. Nope, nope, she's trying to do it. She does this weird thing where if I don't pet her, like she'll try to lick my face. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's like, why? Like, why? I think she does it because she knows I don't want her to lick my face. So then she's like, okay, like pet me. She's come up with a system. It really irritates me. It's currently 10.03. We just got done reading the Bible. I'm in the book of Nehemiah right now. I'm trying to read through the whole Bible. I can't remember when I started. I think I started in August, or did I start in June? I started sometime in the summer, I remember. We're getting close, we're getting there. You know, we only have about, let's see, a little more than 1,400, about 1,500 more pages to read. So we'll get there in no time. You know, just the time and of time. I'm really tired, if you guys can't tell. Yeah, this was pretty much my day, guys. One thing I want to mention about this day in the life is that I made it not only to show you guys like, hey, this is like what I do in my day to day, but I made it also to inspire you guys to take action in your lives because I think a lot of the times we live lives that we're not necessarily the happiest with. Like I remember before I started fitness and like doing YouTube and stuff like that, I would go to college, I would go to work, and then like my days off, I just lay in bed and watch YouTube or something like that. You know, like I was never working for anything more and had to, I knew what I wanted to work for. Like I always knew I wanted to do like something with fitness related and stuff. And I remember for about a year, I had this buddy who had been posting on social media. I was like, man, I should do that, but I was too scared to do it. Then when I finally pulled the trigger, a lot of things changed for me. You know, that was some years ago. Over here now and we're doing it. I do want to mention though, that when you take it as far as I've gone and started a business with your social media in other words like you're using it as a way to funnel a business that exists it's not easy just because there's so much uncertainty and stress like i feel like i never stop working and that's fine like i don't hate it to the point where it's like oh you know like i just want time with my friends and stuff but there is really like no work-life balance like i catch myself every saturday every sunday just working on something and I'm, I'm saying this because I don't want you guys to also watch this video and feel inclined to do something you know like don't just all of a sudden shove a bunch of stuff in your day because you feel like you have to after watching this just do it if you want to do it does that make sense like I'm trying to get you guys to chase something bigger than yourselves only if you want to like this is supposed to be encouragement if you had that one thing like look I'm doing it you can do it too don't feel inclined if you don't have that thing yet you know take it easy 
because this is a lot, you know? Like today, you guys saw one little thing didn't go according to plan and it shifts the entire day around. With my bedtime and stuff, like it's 10.07, I try to go to bed a little 30 minutes earlier since I get up so early. And so, you know, that, that kind of crap happens. And so you have to be conscientious of that. Yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. The day in the life for y'all. It didn't feel too, how do I wear this? It didn't feel too crazy. It felt very weird. I th but I think it's just because the first day of the quarter, the first day of the quarter always feels a little odd. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And it is that kind of dude to love. The sky's in there. And I'll see you all in the next one.